Daniel, you're in Sundance. It's not easy. Uh, it's got to be fun. Tell me. We're having a great time here in beautiful Park City. Uh, it is a wonderful celebration of cinema. I get to spend so much time with so many of my filmmaking colleagues, and it's just uh, a wonderful celebration of artists and storytellers. Tell me a thumbnail of your film. Uh, my film is a documentary about the leader of the Russian opposition, Alexei Navalny, whom was poisoned in a Soviet era uh, a, by a Soviet-era nerve agent called Novichok in August of 2020. He survived that assassination attempt and uh, went on to participate in an investigation of who tried to poison him. Um, and it is uh, a political thriller of the highest order um, and is on HBO Max. Everyone should watch it. It's on HBO Max right now. Right now. <laughs> All right, everyone, listen to that one. Daniel, just a couple more quick ones. What does yeah. it mean to you to be here with this film? Uh, it's extraordinarily meaningful. Um, this is the best film festival in the world, uh, filled with audiences who love cinema and are here to celebrate cinema. Um, so I couldn't have hoped for a better place to premiere our film last year and to show the film today. Uh, the film was nominated for an Oscar this morning, which was extraordinarily exciting. Um, and that momentum started here at Sundance. Daniel, last question. Yeah. What's next? Everyone wants to know, even sometimes before yeah. the curtain goes up and, yeah. and it's screened, but they want to know what's what, going to be next. What's next for me personally? Well, yes. I'm going to say what's next for Alexei Navalny, the subject of our film. Right now, Navalny is in prison at Gulag, six and a half hours outside of Moscow. He's languishing in solitary confinement, and he's in prison for his anti war advocacy. So it is my hope that the world is able to see this film and everyone understands the vital importance of keeping Navalny alive. And, uh, and ushering in a new era in Russia where democracy is um, swept in. Filmfestivals.com thanks you very much, Daniel. I thank filmfestivals.com very much. We're